day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Through my Savior, through my Redeemer, huh? through His blood, His name, huh? His name is salvation. His name is Savior. And maybe that's when we can get to the point where we start saying, just say Savior. I was singing that song, Precious Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. Come on now. While all others out a calling, do not pass me by. I love that song. Precious Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. Oh man, that's a that's what I'm saying is precious savior. Precious savior. Hear my humble cry. <laughs> Why are you calling on others? Do not pass me by. It's the name. It's the savior. Come on, people. Oh, take this word today. If you don't take no other word in the place and where you go, take this word today. We're talking about our Savior, our Deliverer, our Redeemer. His name is Yeshua. His name is Jesus. It's, it's, we don't care what people's trying to do. We don't care what people try to bastardize it or, or transliterate or whatever. The name, know the meaning of the name. And once you know the meaning of the name, it doesn't matter <laughs> what people try to do or try to hide. See, my Redeemer is greater than somebody who wants to tell me that I'm less. My Redeemer tells me I'm blessed. Hey, not people. My Redeemer says I'm accepted. <laughs> My Redeemer said that I can do all things. My Redeemer said that I'm more than a conqueror to Christ Jesus loves me. My Redeemer says that he has made us kings and priests in heavenly places. Huh? My Redeemer says that. But if I sit there and try to get recognition from people or for myself, because when I look at myself, I say, you ain't no savior. Huh? <laughs> You hey look when I look at myself, I, I can see it myself. I'm not that in a bag of potato chips. <laughs> but when the people, when especially people who want to sit there and say that you're not, when people want to sit there and evaluate you and value you, and I mean in this case, devalue you, you can sit there and say, My savior says I'm the apple of his eye. Ooh, come on, y'all. He said, I'm the app, he's I'm the apple of his eye. When when, when I get to that point of understanding <laughs> how, how much he loves me, <laughs> that he gave his own life for me. <laughs> he did that. He took the punishment, he took the, the whipping, he took the beating, he took it for me. Man, when you get to that point of understanding who he is to you, then you start saying, I don't care what somebody else says about me. I don't care what somebody else believes about me. It's who I believe I am. Because I guarantee there's a lot of bondage that people try to put on every last one of us. And we do it worse. Sometimes it's worse. We do it ourselves worse than anybody else. We devalue ourselves. I mean, that's why some people kill themselves. Because they become, see, you know, I think the fact that they become the, the judge and jury if they kill themselves. Because they see no hope. But you know what? There's no hope in you. There's hope in him. 
That's why if you be in Christ, see, that's why I want you to know when you walk from this study, is his name is above all names, not because of the name by itself, but the meaning of the name puts him above all other names. See, every knee and every tongue shall confess of the Redeemer, Joshua, Jesus. Somebody can sit and say, no, I don't think they could use Jesus more. It's the meaning behind the name Jesus that must matter, not Jesus by itself. Because like you said, there's other people that have the name. There's other people that there's many people called Joshua. Back in the in the Hebrews, there's many were called Yeshua. We know that. If you don't know that, that's true. I, I want you to know that in the Bible, there's a lot of people who's common. So when you see uh Joshua, that's Yeshua. When you see Jesus, that's Yeshua. Huh? And there was people called Yeshua in Hebrew, right? Uh, or 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 when the disciples talking to him, they're saying Yeshua. Think I just if you don't need, if you didn't know that, that's what I'm trying to say. Some people try to just try to just have we could we do it ourselves all the time, right? We call ourselves by our name, but we don't talk about the meaning of our names. Oh, kids like to sit there and then when they give a name, they give a name that you know that one of the politicians just love to give names to people, right? Uh, and don't like him, somebody give him a name, but they love it. He just love to give other people a name because it 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 he wants to give a meaning of the name. Because when he says it, that means you can bastardize it, you can ostracize it, you can put it down. You know what I mean? That's what people. That's what childish stuff do, but that's what they do. But when you sit there and say, "Man." It's my savior. That's that's who I care about. That's all that matters. That's where it comes down to. That's what we want to sit there and focus on. It's the redeemer. It's our redeemer that we're looking at. Amen. So the to, to go back up here, let me go back up here. The on the scriptures is the here's the the like I said, here's the title. Uh, and, and, and here's a, some write-up. I, I got this offline. I couldn't find the uh, author's name. I got some scriptures out of the Bible, but this, this is some of the uh, translations here. And it said, you shall call his name, dot, 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 announce the angel Gabriel, Jesus. <laughs> no, he didn't. He said, Joshua. I mean, I just want to make sure people understand the translation in Hebrew when they talk about Gabriel. What Gabriel said was, no, he didn't say Jesus, he said Joshua. 1500 is when we start saying Jesus. That's our transliteration. But you need to know he meant Joshua. He said it. I mean, that's that's the that's the translation is Joshua. Uh, in Hebrew, and even in Greek, is 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 an I, not a J, until Sweden changed it to a J. I mean, we we changed the spelling, the translation of the name, but you need to understand the meaning behind the name. Why I said it because, and when G Gabriel said it, he said Yeshua. You need. To, that's why I'm saying it's important that we learn the Bible for ourselves, understand what these words mean, because these words have meaning. That's why I'm saying the word has meaning. They they said Joshua. That was the, there was no Mary. <laughs> There's a different name, Hebrew name. You know, we we that's why people sit there saying they get their Hebrew Bible out and, uh, so they can translate. Because it's a, it's a meaning behind those names. And that's what we want to make sure you get to understand. But then Gabriel wasn't really called Gabriel either, right? In Hebrew, it sounds different. Gabriel. Huh? My, look at look what Gabriel means. 
mighty one of the Lord. Come on now, y'all. Need to know the study this stuff. But at least Gabriel sounds a bit like Gabriel, huh? It's at least recognizable, right? How in the world did Joshua, the actual Hebrew name for our Lord and Messiah, turn into Jesus? It sounds nothing like Joshua. And does it really matter what we call him? I think it matters that you know the meaning of the name. Because people, they, I, I think, I, I really do believe something that just started to say the name when it came out in the 1500s was to really say, let's pull the meaning back so that we don't want those brought into captivity to have the mindset of deliverance, of salvation. I think, I really do think that that sounds like why that came out the way it did. Because if you kept saying Joshua, after you start realizing that's a Hebrew name, I think regardless of whether you they had to spoken or written or translated in Greek, the, the translation was still trying to focus on what the meaning of the name was. And maybe sometime they came out and changed it. They put all these variations so that it don't get you to think and hear salvation every time. Or savior, or deliverer, or redeemer. Right? If you can get that out of the way, these people that we bring into captivity won't start thinking of salvation. I mean, I, that's the only thing I can think of. That's why they did it. Here's the uh, Greek spelling. That's what I want you to see. Jesus is a masculine given name derived from Yeshua. 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 Uh, because there's no J in Hebrew. You understand, you are reading a Hebrew Bible. You understand, Jesus was a Hebrew, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, Isha, Isha is in classical Latin. Look at that. I-E-S-U-S. -S. That's, that's a translation in Greek. In Latin, if you if you if you need to know, it was Sweden is the one that came up with the J. But look at that, even in Latin, it was spelled I E S U S. See, uh, that's if you if you want to get deep, we want to study that that that's what it is right there. The ancient Greek form of the Hebrew and Aramaic name Yeshua or Yeshua, Hebrew as its root lies in the name Joshua or Joshua. It is etymologically related to another biblical name, Joshua. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, male gender. You know, I can't pronounce that, that, because I'm not Hebrew, right? I'm not Greek. I'm not Latin. I'm, I'm somebody in English. And, and, and even in English translation, there's really, Jeshua. And we're going to get some words on that anyway. There's a related name, Joshua, Jeshua, Isa, Hebrew. That's in the Wikipedia, right? Just want to get to it. You need to know the truth behind the meaning of the name. It's the meaning. I, I went over those right there by Savior. Uh, why I'm saying that? It's saying is the fact that we have this type of form that I have is the fact is in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You need to know the knowledge behind the name. You need to know Joshua means salvation, Savior. You need to know that we transliterated the name Jesus to mean Savior. Is this Savior, the Savior? If you, if you don't get that meaning, you don't understand the meaning behind the name, then you lose. I, th I believe you lose the power behind the name. But I believe that's how some people are being beaten up because they're not understanding the power, the meaning behind the name. See, I'm, I'm not kidding. You know, you've been hearing Jesus all your life, all of us, right? So since the 1500s, that's, that's where they came out, Jesus. So we need to understand what Jesus means. 
Jesus means Redeemer, Savior, Lord, right? We know say Lord a lot of cases, but do we really know that that when we say Jesus, we say it Redeemer, Savior, huh? We, 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 if you don't, I, please tell people, spread the gospel. It's the power behind the name, right? Black people are struggling with a lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. I have also rejected thee that thou shall be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I'll also forget thy children. Second Chronicles 7, 14, if my people, listen now, if my people, which are called by what? My name, what is my name? I am the savior, God saying, huh? He said that, we just read that in Isaiah, right? He said, besides me, there's no other savior. I am the savior. If my people call my name, Joshua, because that's the name that was written in Hebrew, Joshua, which means savior. Once again, it goes back to the meaning, not just the name. Joshua shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. They need to understand the name. huh? The name is what's important, you know? If we can get the name right, you know, uh, let me see, did I put this on the next slide or not? I think I did, because I got the workers approved by God. Workers approved by God, there it is right there. Workers approved by God, 2 Timothy 2.14. And that's what you need to be, a worker approved by God, not by man, and that's what a lot of people try to do. They try, they'll put you out, they'll put you out of a building, they'll put you out of a building, they'll put you out of church if they, you're not approved by them. If you don't believe in their way, you don't think it's their way, they'll put you out. But you need to think about God being the approver, and that's what every believer needs to understand. Let me take them off this for a second. I'm going to come off for a second. Every believer needs to understand that your whole purpose is to be approved by God, not by man. Not by the body of Christ, but by man. No, not by man. No, 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 not by man, but by God. By God. Approved by God. And God has approved many of you who believe in his name. You are approved already, but yeah, you get people, that's a, they rarely, they ran my, they ran children away. They ran other believers away from, from believing because they became the approver. Oh no, excuse me, they tried to try to become the approver. What I'm trying to tell you, stop letting people be, stop trying to be approved by people because you're not going to, you're not going to get approved by people unless you agree with them. There's people get mad because you don't agree with them. There's people who left because you don't agree with them. There's people who left each other because they, you know, you, 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 you didn't believe in my politics. There's people who put out of church because you didn't believe in their way of thinking. It, it, the point is that you get approved, be approved, and tell people you need to be approved by God, not by people. But people have lost friendship and everything else all because of different ideological opinions or theological opinions. Be approved by God. Be content to be approved by God because if you can approve by God, you're doing it. Amen? That's why I think it's so important. Be approved. Seek to be approved by God. And that's what these scriptures are saying. The worker approved by God. And you need to study to show yourself approved. Look at this. It says in 2 Timothy 2.14, of these things put them remembers, charging them. This is he's telling us to do that. That's a that's the job of the of ministries. He said, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit. And that's what I'm saying. There's no demean in the name. Not sitting there. I don't care if you said Jesus. I don't care if you said Joshua. I want you to make sure you know what it means. That's what I think is important. He said, but to the subverting of the hearer. 
And that's what I'm saying is somebody, and that's what people may have changed names and changed words because they don't want people to understand. I want the meaning of the word. See, I've been redeemed. I have a savior. You, those who want to sit there and say he's a parent, I got a savior that's greater than you. Whether you white or black, I got a savior that's greater than you. I said this on my seven. I won't be replaced. You, you, if you, if you have put yourself as a image of a small G, then you need to be placed back where you are a child of God, because there is no other God besides Him, and you're not going to be between me and God. I don't care what you think. I don't care how you feel. You're not going to be above. You're not going to be in between me and God. You're not greater than me, and I'm greater than you. It's God. He's my Savior. He's my Redeemer. I've been redeemed by Him. I didn't get redeemed by people. You're not redeemed by people. You know, nobody died on that cross for you. So for Jesus, Joshua, God Almighty did it for you. For you. And you sit there trying to get approved by people when people don't matter. They don't. When it comes between you and God, they can sit there all day long. It's God Almighty. And you don't need to sit back and, and you know how some people sit there and they fight the police and all that stuff <clears throat> because they, they weren't, they, they, the man's being disrespectful, the woman being disrespectful. No, just be quiet. Say, cut your camera on, sir. Whatever. Here you go. Whatever, whatever. We deal with it in court. Cause I ain't here to worry about being what you want me to be. I'm being who he says I am. Hey, glory to God like that. <laughs> anyway, look at this. Verse 15. Study to show that self approving to God. That's the whole purpose of your being a believer is being approved unto God. A workman that need is not to be ashamed, what? Rightly dividing the word of truth. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Go by the truth. What's the truth? His name has a meaning. It's not just a name. It has a meaning. And once you understand the meaning of the name, regardless of how people translate, regardless of how people try to hide it, it's the meaning. There's many languages out there. It's the meaning. That's what we're trying to say. I think maybe that's what has been happening. We've been we've been bamboozled about the meaning, about just calling a name, opposed to a name that has a meaning behind the name. That's what people have. They, you know, you got people calling themselves Joshua. You got people calling themselves Joshua. You got people calling themselves they who's, you know, I uh, guess whatever you call it in Spanish. But the bottom line is people na name that name after that right they called it they wanted it look one of the slave ships was called jesus in the 1500s ain't that something hey come on man come on this ship right here because it's named jesus perverting subverting the name you know he said in verse 16 for some profane and vain babbling for they will increase unto more ungodliness and that's that's what happens and that's why uh, even this time now, people are doing crazy things, and yet they try to blame it on God. 